heart of Jesus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. For young people forced to work even if underage, that devotees of the Sacred Heart may pray and work to help uplift the life of families so that they may have abundance to support their well-being and sustenance. Let us pray. O oh my Jesus, you have said, Truly I say to you, ask and you will receive, seek and you will find, knock and it will be opened to you. Behold, I knock, I seek and ask for the grace of. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Sacred Heart of Jesus, I place all my trust in you. O oh my Jesus, you have said, Truly I say to you, if you ask anything of the Father in my name, he will give it to you. Behold, in your name I ask the Father for the grace of. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Sacred Heart of Jesus, I place all my trust in you. O my Jesus, you have said, Truly I say to you, heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. Encouraged by your infallible words, I now ask for the grace of Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Sacred Heart of Jesus, I place all my trust in you. Concluding Prayer O Sacred Heart of Jesus, for whom it is possible, impossible not to have compassion on the afflicted, have pity on us, miserable sinners, and grant us the grace which we ask of you. Through the sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, your tender mother and ours. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, your eyes of mercy toward us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus, O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Saint Joseph, foster father of Jesus, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Please be seated. Let us pause for a moment of silence as we prepare ourselves for a full, active, and conscious participation in this Eucharistic celebration.
Good afternoon, brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome to this Eucharistic celebration. Our Mass presider is our parish priest, Reverend Father Ronnie Urbano, SDB. Please all stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear friends, today we celebrate the votive Mass of St. John Bosco. This is a usual Wednesday devotion that we have to thank Don Bosco for all the graces that we have received. At the same time, to ask him to bless all our intentions and prayers today. As we prepare to celebrate the mystery of Christ's love, let us... First, acknowledge our failures and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May our merciful God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Lord our God, in your providence, you have given us St. John Bosco, the father and teacher of youth, who under the guidance of the Virgin Mary, worked with untiring zeal for the good of the church. Inspire us with the same apostolic charity to seek the salvation of our neighbor and so serve you, the one and only good. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Jude. Beloved, Remember the words spoken beforehand by the apostles of the Lord Jesus Christ. Build yourselves up in your most holy faith. Pray in the Holy Spirit. Keep yourselves in the love of God and wait for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ that leads to eternal life. On those who waver, have mercy. Save others by snatching them out of the fire. On others, have mercy with fear, abhorring even the outer garment stained by the flesh. To the one who is able to keep you from stumbling and to present you unblemished and exultant in the presence of his glory to the only God, our Savior, through Jesus Christ our Lord, be glory majesty, power, and authority from ages past, now, and for ages to come. Amen. The Word of the Lord. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. O God, you are my God, whom I seek. 
for you my flesh pines and my soul thirsts like the earth, parched, lifeless, and without water. Thus have I gazed toward you in the sanctuary to see your power and glory, for your kindness is the greater good than life. My lips shall glorify you. Thus will I bless you while I live, lifting up my hands. I will call upon your name, as with the riches of a banquet shall my soul be satisfied, and with exultant lips my mouth shall praise you. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, giving thanks to God the Father through him. be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to mark glory to you o lord jesus and his disciples returned once more to jerusalem as he was walking in the temple area the chief priests the scribes and the elders approached him and said to him by what authority are you doing this things or who gave you this authority to do them Jesus said to them, I shall ask you one question. Answer me, and I will tell you by what authority I do these things. Was John's baptism of heavenly, was John's baptism of heavenly or of human origin? Answer me. They discussed this among themselves and said, If we say of heavenly origin, he will say, Then why did you not believe him? But shall we say, of human origin, they feared the crowd, and for they all thought John really was a prophet. So they said to Jesus in reply, We do not know. Then Jesus said to them, Neither shall I tell you by what authority I do these things. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good afternoon, everyone. Sabi ng dalawang uh, babae, nag-uusap. Sabi ng isang babae, ganda ng skirt mo, girl. Sabi ng isa, surpresa ng mister ko sa akin to. Yee. No? Sabi ng, ng girl, saan nabili? Sumagot siya. Ewan ko, nakita ko lang sa ilalim ng kama namin kaninang umaga, na surprise nga ako eh. Well, ewan ko. Today we will hear this from our gospel today. But prior to the, our gospel today is practically the story of Jesus driving out the money changers out of the temple and telling them, you have made this a den of thieves. Remember that story. Now, a continuation to that story is our gospel today. And this outraged the religious leaders. And so they immediately began to discuss how they could put Jesus to death. Look, there's tension in, uh, in the air 
happening in this story. They were plotting to put Jesus to death. They were filled with hatred and refused to believe in Jesus. Nagkapatong-patong na ang sama ng loob nila kay Jesus. And because Jesus saw the hardness of their heart, He put them on the spot to answer first this question before He, he would answer their question. He says, answer me, and I will tell you by what authority I do these things. Why do you think Jesus would do this? Well, kung sinagot lang sana nila ang tanong ni Jesus ng may katotohanan at kababaang loob, siguro na iligtas nila ang kanilang sarili. Because the question Jesus asked them was actually an opportunity that Jesus is giving them to repent. But instead, they discuss it among themselves and gave Him an answer, We do not know. Ewan namin, hindi namin alam. Yun ang sagot nila. But imagine, if they would have given the right answer, what if they discuss it among themselves and concluded that John's baptism was truly from God and that they should believe in Him? If they would have only humbled themselves, admitted that they had greatly erred in regard to John, then Jesus perhaps would have answered their question. Then I guess, then I guess their life of faith could have begun for real. But they didn't. They remained stubborn. They could not admit they were wrong. And so, my dear friends, let me remind you that stubbornness is among the most dangerous of sins. Kasalanan ang katigasan ng ulo. Why? Because it's a refusal to change. And when a person refuses to admit his sin and refuses to change, then God cannot help him. May mga tao talagang kahit anong payo mo, kahit anong pangaral mo, kahit ano ang sabihin mo, dead malang sila. Sadyang matigas ang ulo. Humahanap lang talaga ng, ng, sila ng kakampi. At kung may sabihin ka na kontra sa gusto, kagustuhan nila, sumasama ang loob nila. Nagagalit sila kapag di nila magustuhan ang sinabi mo. Kasi one-track-minded na siguro sila. Hello, kaway-kaway sa mga taong ganito. Ikaw ba yun? My dear, friend, my dear friends, do you also struggle with stubbornness in your, heart, in your life? Do you find it difficult to admit when you are wrong? Do you find it difficult to apologize to another and seek to change? This is where the importance now, my dear friends, of praying to our Lord for the gift of having a humble heart. Humility, in many ways, is nothing than being completely honest with oneself, with others, and with God. Remember this. Stubbornness makes you artificial. And humility makes you real. Amen. St. John Bosco. Pray for us. Mary Help of Christians. Pray for us. With St. John Bosco, who zealously promoted the devotion to the Holy Eucharist, let us lift our prayers to God as we say, through the intercession of St. John Bosco, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. 
that we may find the strength and consolation of our lives in this heavenly food. Through the intercession of St. John Bosco, loving Father, hear our prayer. That we may generously spend time in adoration of Jesus in the blessed sacrament. Through the intercession of St. John Bosco, Lord Jesus, hear our prayer. That our Christian community may participate with enthusiasm and devotion in the celebration of the Holy Eucharist. Through the intercession of St. John Bosco, Holy Spirit, hear our prayer. God our Father, grant us a tireless faith and boundless love that following St. John Bosco in our daily situations, we may be signs and bearers of your love for the young. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and the work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands that will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear friends, that these are offerings and sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and the glory of His name, for our good and the good of all, His Holy Church. Accept, Holy Father, the sacrifice we offer you with sincere devotion. Grant that we may love you above all else so that our whole life may be a hymn to your glory. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord. Father of eternal love, you have raised up St. John Bosco in the church as the father, brother, and friend of the young to lead them along the way of salvation. With the prophetic vision of new life, of new times to come, he prepared them to face up to life with honesty, integrity, and active faith. Under the impulse of your spirit, he brought into being a great family to continue throughout the world his mission of father and teacher. And so with a company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. 
For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving thanks, broke it. He said the blessing, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint John Bosco and with all the saints on his constant intercession, in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Archbishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life. Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all, this, all that is good. Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. We now call on God, our Father. Our, our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress and serious illness as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the fate of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are invited to partake of his meal. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Father, you have nourished us with this sacrament of salvation. Help us to imitate the tireless activity of St. John Bosco in bringing young people to the love of Christ, your Son, the inexhaustible source of new life. He lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please all kneel for the intercessory prayer to St. John Bosco. O St. John Bosco, whom God raised to be the friend of our souls, set us free from the wiles of the enemy, that we may offer our hearts to the Lord, cool and undefiled. Trusting in your immense love of God, we turn to your powerful intercession, that we may obtain the graces we beg for. We pray for our families and loved ones, protect them from all dangers and any form of sickness of mind and body, keep them safe from spiritual decay and moral confusion, conflicts and misunderstandings, separation and depression, sadness, apathy and despair. May they always remain hopeful in their faith, united in love and joyful in sacrifice for one another. We lift up to your loving care our children and young ones. Teach them to live as enthusiastic Christians and dependable servants in society. Lead them to follow the ways of the gospel and treasure their intimacy with Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament. Dear St. John Bosco, may we burn with your ardent love for souls. We generously work for the salvation of our neighbors. Bring us closer to the Blessed Virgin Mother, that under her protective mantle, we may grow daily in holiness and ultimately share the joys of heaven with you and with our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. St. John Bosco, Mary, help of Christians. Please be seated. For the anointing of the sick, please form two lines at the center aisle in receiving the sacrament. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may our may blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Sa Don Bosco Masaya. Sama-sama. Sama.